Welcome on board. We are pleased to have you join Taiwan's distant water fisheries. Taiwanese distant water fishing vessels conduct fishing operations across the three major oceans. Fishing is a challenging job. To ensure your safety and work runs smoothly during the contract period, please pay special attention to your rights and benefits. Before you work on board a fishing vessel, you have to sign an employment contract with Taiwanese vessel owner and a service contract with Taiwanese employment agent. The content should include the following: contract period, job description, wage, insurance, transportation costs, rest hours, labor protection, accidental injury and sickness, services provided by the agent, loans, legal obligations, breach of contract, and dispute settlement. Next, we will further explain each item in detail. One contract period. When you sign the contract, please make special note of its start and expiry dates. Year, month, and day should be specified. If the contract expires while the fishing vessel is still operating at sea. The expiry date of the contract will be automatically extended to the completion date of the trip. Once the contract has expired, and you and the vessel owner have agreed to renew the contract, such renewal of contract should be made by both parties in writing. Two, job description. Which vessel you work for and what are your job duties are bound by the contract. Without your approval or finishing required procedures, no one can force you to transfer to other fishing vessels to work. Three wage. Besides providing you with meals, the vessel owner is required to pay you wage by the mutually agreed means. You may request the vessel owner either to pay you full wage directly or to remit a portion of your wage to your family. The total amount of your wage and regular bonus should not be less than 450 U.S. dollars per month. When you receive your wage or the bonus awarded by the vessel owner, please remember to sign the receipt with your signature or fingerprint to ensure your rights and benefits. Four insurance. The vessel owner must insure for you the accident, medical, and life insurance. And the insured amount of the life insurance should not be less than one million new Taiwan dollars, approximately thirty-two thousand U.S. dollars. Five, transportation costs. As you sign the contract, please remember to confirm with the vessel owner who will bear the transportation costs incurred from leaving your home country for the fishing vessel. After the contract expires. The captain will bear the transportation costs incurred from your return trip to your home country. However, if you are sent back home due to a violation of law during the contract period, or if you terminate the contract early due to personal reasons, you will be responsible for your own transportation fees for the return trip to your home country. Six rest hours, according to the regulations. Your daily rest time should not be less than ten hours. However, due to the characteristics of fishing operations, if there is an emergent need or safety concerns for the fishing vessel, crew members, or catches, and your physical condition is allowed, you may extend your working hours under an agreement between you and the vessel owner or captain. Be sure to arrange compensatory leaves. Seven, labor protection. To ensure your safety, the vessel owner must make sure that the fishing vessel is equipped with sufficient and well-functioning safety devices. For instance, life rafts, life vests, life buoys. Additionally, for your convenience of performing duties. The vessel owner will also provide you with all the equipment you need for fishing operations. For instance, rain boots, gloves, winter coat, etc. 
8. Accidental injury and sickness. Should you get injured or sick during employment, the vessel owner should seek the nearest medical attention, especially when the injury or sickness has resulted from performing duties. The vessel owner is responsible for your medical costs. In the unfortunate event that you cannot be cured in the short term or even pass away, the vessel owner will send the remains and all your belongings to your designated contact. The vessel owner is also responsible for such fees. The agent will assist in contacting your family and handle all aftercare and insurance payout. However, if your injury or disease is not resulted from performing duties, and if the hospital determines that you are not fit to resume work in the short term, the vessel owner may terminate the contract without being subject to article on breach of contract. 9. Services provided by the agent. The agent provides the following services. Arrange all the paperwork, documents, and procedures for your employment as a crew member on board a Taiwanese fishing vessel. Arrange the transportation between your home country and the fishing vessel where you work. Assist in the communications between you and the vessel owner. The agent should also inform you of the work rules and daily life management on board. Take you to the designated hospital for medical examination and interpretation. Please take note of your agent's emergency contact number so that you could timely raise any problem you face. Within the service contract signed by the agent and you, it will clearly list out all the terms that need extra charge and the required fees, such as the paperwork, procedures, and medical examination. The agent should not charge you any additional service fee beyond the contract. 10. Loans If you need to borrow money from the vessel owner or agent, or if you need them to pay certain fees for you in advance, Please note the creditor, item, amount, and repayment method on the slip. You must personally verify the slip, then sign it with your signature or fingerprint. No one can violate the repayment method specified on the slip or arbitrarily deduct your wage as compensation or penalty. 11. Special Needs If you have any restrictions or special needs due to religion or cultural customs, Please notify the vessel owner, agent, or captain beforehand. 12. Obligations You must fulfill the contract and comply with laws and regulations, and obey reasonable instructions from the vessel owner and captain. You are prohibited from coercing or attacking other people, vandalizing public property, being negligent of duties, or absent from work at will. Making excuses to evade embarkation on fishing vessel. Weapons, firearms, and ammunition are also prohibited. To help the agent process paperwork and procedures efficiently, you must provide accurate personal information. Should your information be incorrect, you will be responsible for any complications from entering or leaving Taiwan. 13. Breach of Contract if you want to terminate the contract early, you must notify the vessel owner or agent beforehand. It should be noted that unless such early termination can be attributed to any reason that is beyond your control, you are liable for any losses resulting from the early termination to the vessel owner or agent. Vice versa, if the vessel owner or agent decide to terminate the contract early, they are liable for any damages that may be caused to you. 14. Signing the contract. The vessel owner and agent should give you sufficient time to review and comprehend the contract. Once you are familiar with your rights and responsibilities, you can sign an employment contract with the vessel owner and a service contract with the Taiwanese agent respectively. Please also remember to keep a copy of each contract for your own records. We hope to create a friendly and safe work environment for you. If you encounter any issues regarding labor rights abuse, 
disputes over the contract, or mistreatment, please immediately report your situation. If you happen to be in Taiwan, you can dial the hotline 1955. If you are outside of Taiwan, you can dial 886-2-8073-3141. Or reach out to Taiwan's overseas missions, observers, inspectors, or fisheries officers stationed abroad for filing a complaint. You can also raise any issue to the investigators who are responsible for interviewing foreign crew members while the vessel returns to Taiwan's domestic ports. The Fisheries Agency wishes each of you all the best. Have a safe journey.